And Kevin, would you expect resignations at the White House into the weekend? Yes. Put simply, yes. I think that there will be shakeups sometime uh, over the next 48 hours. It's, it's looking increasingly like that, to say the least, particularly as <clears throat> Steve Bannon speaking to a left-wing publication last evening. Uh, reportedly, he didn't know it was on the record. But, you know, look, I mean, this is something that we've seen play out uh, with Anthony Scaramucci uh, the other week. And so, you know, I think that the fallout from Charlottesville is only continuing the pressure mounting. This isn't coming <clears throat> just from Republicans. This isn't coming just from CEOs. This is widespread throughout the country uh, from from large portions of the American, uh, basically virtually all Americans. Kevin, speak to our global audience about a government running business as usual. Do you look at this mess as a political thing with the president, separate from government running as usual, or can we state governments not running as usual? Well, the U.S. government institutions are always stronger than any person. Look, Vice President Mike Pence has cut short his international trip, Tom. He is he he will be home uh, in the United States uh, early. He he canceled an event that he had scheduled in Virginia for later this weekend, a, a political event. Uh, and, and then in terms of lawmakers, they're still back home. I mean, we haven't heard much from Republican lawmakers who are in office uh, on television or uh, through other means other than written statements denouncing some of the, the rhetoric that we've, we've heard from, from the president. But I think we have to just take a, a step back here this morning, Tom, uh, and just note the, the abnormality of, of the events of the past week.